Hi everyone! Hello! For those of you who don't know me or haven't met me yet, my name is Sarah, living in London, Richmond, from South Africa, Durban, and then Cape Town. Today we are just going to do something a little bit different. I'm not sure how your morning's been, how your evening's been, how your afternoon has been. Whenever you're listening to this, welcome. This is for, for all of you. This is a channel that is inclusive, that is accessible, and hopefully will bring a little bit of joy into your day. Something you can, you can share, you can come back to, and you can take, take away from. Hopefully there's a takeaway. So the lesson today is one of um, changes. Changes, right? Ha, how cool is that? Close the book, open it on the same page. <laughs> Very cool. Just find a comfortable seat wherever you are. Make sure you've got props with you. If you don't have props, as in traditional blocks or bricks, grab some books, grab some pillows, grab something you can prop under your sitting bones so that you raise your hips higher than your knees. When we coming into our seat for meditation, our dhyana meditation, we find a seat which is steady and still, a seat which, in which we can sit in stillness. Stiti is stillness. Ensuring the hips are higher than the knees, come to a comfortable cross-legged seat. So you can take Sukhasana, easy cross-legged, easy pose, or Adha Padmasana, half lotus. But if this is the first bit of movement you're bringing into the day, just, just find a seat that is, that is comfortable, that doesn't put any pressure on your, on your knees, your ankles. Be, be wary, be mindful of places in your body, particularly your knees, your ankles, and your hips for cross-legged cross -legged asanas. Asana is not a pose. It means to take one seat. So the first S that we remember that we go through is our seat, our asana. The second S is you can close your eyes, just listen to my voice. It's a seal, a mudra, part of the asana group. Taking the chin mudra, C-I-N, folding your forefinger into the third crease of your thumb. Just rest your hands on your knees, palms facing up or down, whatever resonates with you today. Sit up tall. Begin to nestle your sitting bones down as if you're nestling, rooting down into your pillow, into your block, into the earth. Rooting down to grow tall, to create space, to lengthen. From the base of the spine, the Murahadra Chakra, up through all seven chakras, crown of the head, Sahasrara Chakra. Closing the eyes, relaxing the face, relaxing your jaw, your belly. There's no forced breathing. Just begin to witness your breath. Observing your breath. Observing, witnessing your body breathe itself. It's all you need to do. Just keep your eyes closed. Face soft. Becoming a witness and sitting still. Your seat, your mudra, your seal, and your stiti sitting still. As you witness your breath, begin to observe your thoughts. Noticing how when you focus, draw attention, objectifying each thought, you're letting it go. It's quickly replaced by something new. And as soon as you focus on that thought, it is replaced usually by something new. And so on we go, jumping around. And eventually, with patience and with time, your constant practice, your abhyasa, with discipline, 
you will discover an in-between space between your thoughts. A space which grows, a space of stillness, deity, a, re a refuge, a sanctuary, a safe space. A space which is accessible wherever you are, not limited to seated asanas. But there's no time stamp. There's no one right way. No one can teach you how to meditate. It's already in you. Just a little bit a day, whatever you can do. Just keep practicing. With no expectations. Just witness, just observe. Bring your hands together at heart center and Anjali Mudra, keeping your eyes closed. Just listen to my voice. Thumbs into your sternum. Sit up tall. Opening with the Guru Mantra. Chant after me. Om Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devu Maheshvara, Guru Sakshat, Param Brahma, Tajma Shri Guru Ve Namaha, Lokaha Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu. Om Om, Om, Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Keep your eyes closed wherever you are. And use this time to devote your practice, to set your intention, devotion, bhakti, practicing for someone you love, for someone you find challenging, for those the less fortunate than you, the millions in this world who are less fortunate than us. For your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your lover, your God if you are religious, but practice for someone else, something greater than you. Make it a selfless work, a yajna, and come back to this intention long after the this little video has finished playing. Yoga is practiced off the mat. Become an ambassador for that message. An ambassador for loving kindness, maitri friendliness, and karuna, compassion coupled with devoted action. Come back to your intention. Inhale, open your eyes. Exhale, hands down by your side. So just before we begin, if you are in your first 12 weeks pregnancy, please don't practice today. First eight weeks after giving birth, please don't practice and make sure you have medical clearance after the eight weeks before you before you start. Do not practice if you are injured in any way whatsoever. I'd prefer you not to. Just take it easy, lie down, listen to the message. And remember that we are practicing ahimsa. Guys, at the end of the day, this is a practice of love, of ahimsa, non-harming, our first yama, our first universal morality. So it would be completely hypocritical to practice if you are in any pain. We're not in a competition. You're not in competition with yourself, with me, with your neighbor, with your teacher, your students. It doesn't matter. Every day is different. Currently, I'm going through a really difficult time with some medication coming off it, but it's a hopeful time, it's a time of change. It's been a long time coming and at one point, some point, I will talk a little bit more about, about what this is about, the, the medication. All you need to know for now is that getting onto this mat, getting here wasn't easy, it didn't feel like doing it. Um, and some days are going to be like that, some days are going to be hard and I really want to break this idea that everything always is always good. It's just complete rubbish. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> you know that. Balance. Hatta. Balance. We're looking at 
some beautiful examples, subtle and gross, in and out, up and down. Think of the Surya Namaskar sequence and the, the whole Ashtanga Yogasana sequence. In our Namaskar sequence, we go up, we go down, we lift up, we go down, we step back, we go up, we go down, we go. It's a constant balance. It's not opposite. It is balance, you know. And in life, this is this is something we come across. It's it's really, I feel like this in this time today, where you know you go online, you go on Instagram, for example, and just bombarded, overwhelmed with images of, you know, the positive, and Kaylee, Kaylee con um, consciousness. I'll add a link to her channel below. She she talks about this in one of her videos really inspired me to to speak as well because I really believe she makes a great point um, and I don't want to paraphrase but the point I'm trying to make is not everything's good and no one can speak that, to that being true so I just I encourage you I really do encourage you to be more open about both sides you know the good and the bad to share a little bit more about when times are hard because when we share we encourage others to persevere and we share that people are not alone, you're not alone in your suffering. If you're going through a struggle, you're not alone. You're not. And that's really the the point of this of this little video today is to show that even when you really a few weeks ago, a few months ago, would not have believed I could get up and do anything going through this change in medication, this dose I'm currently on but I can, and that's thanks to the support of some really, really incredible humans and animals, <laughs> and also just just doing it, right? Um, and just being honest with you. I might not feel my best, and I'm not going to pretend I do. So we don't always have to put on a smile, please. Please try and be more authentic. Live a life of satya, our second yama, a life of honesty. It is integral to living. It really is. I will come back to the reading in a little bit. Just We're going to go through just four examples today of, um, of Bhamanasana. So Bhamanasana is tabletop. Make sure you've just gone over the health and safeties. If you do feel any sharp or shooting pain, come out of what you're doing. Just lie flat on your back. Come into a child's pose. And just watch. Watch and observe and learn. So, Bhamanasana, tabletop, all fours. Hands flat on the mat. Fingers spread really wide. Shoulders, elbows, wrists are stacked. Similar to Urdhva Mukha Savanasana, our upward facing dog, similar to a few other asanas, but today we'll focus just on a few variations in Bhamanasana. Mostly we just do cat cow, um, Majyasana, Bittalasana is the Sanskrit, but here are three more which you can bring into your, your daily practice. So have a little look down, check that your knees hip width distance apart. If you've got a block, you can. Place it between your knees. Another little, another little check. Middle finger in line with your shoulder, in line with your knee, in line with your big toe. That's a nice little estimate guess. That's a alignment, a good little alignment check. Fingers spread wide, pressing into the mat, rooting down, rooting down to grow tall to create space. Have a little look that your feet aren't splaying out. They're parallel to one another. Toes are untucked. Your gaze is soft, neck is long, inhale, arch your back and look up, linking breath with movement, exhale, round the back, look at your belly button, inhale to arch and look up, urva or antara means up, for our dristi and exhale, round the spine, gazing at your belly, your nabi chakra is your dristi, inhale to arch one more time, Arms are straight and exhale to round. Just taking it easy. Inhale, come back to your neutral spine. Check your alignment. And now, you just have to shuffle over a little bit. Begin to make circles 
to the right with your hands, with your wrists. Begin small and then slowly widening the circle, bringing the shoulders all the way over the wrists and coming to sit on your bum bum, coming all the way back up. Come back to center by making smaller circles and then center. Try not look at the screen. Just trust yourself, trust my voice. Going to the left now. Small, starting small. Keep those fingers spread wide. Widening the circle. All the way over the wrists and back. Got to warm up these wrists. Got to warm up the hands, the fingers, metatarsals. And come back to center, making little circles. And then all the way back to your center. Back in Barmanasana, back in our tabletop, our all fours, as you might, might know, have, have heard it before. This one we're going to try now, Dandiyamana Barmanasana, our balancing tabletop. If you've got a wall in front of you, fantastic. Inhale, reach your right arm out in front of you. Sorry, that was my alarm for a class coming up. Life does sometimes <laughs> interrupt. We just roll with it. Right arm out in front of you, pick up the left leg, and exhale, curve the spine, knee to nose. Inhale to arch, looking up, reaching forward, exhale to round. One more time. Inhale, extend, look up, exhale to round, and come back to your tabletop. Back to your alignment, back to your bar manasana, your tabletop. On the next inhale, lift your left arm out in front of you, opposite leg lifts. Could drop the opposite leg, the right leg's hip slightly to square. Inhale, extend, exhale to round, knee to nose. Inhale, extend, look up, exhale to round. Inhale to extend and look up and exhale to round. Come back to your neutral Barmanasana tabletop. Should be getting a little warmer now. The last one we're going through for today. Pass Vibhalasana. Thread the needle. Inhale from your tabletop. Lift your right hand up to the sky. Gaze follows middle right finger. And exhale. Thread your right arm through the space. Bringing your right ear to the mat. Left hand moves a little bit. Make sure the left elbow is directly above the hand. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more. Inhale and exhale. Press yourself on the inhale is the effort back to your tabletop. Left side, when you're ready, inhale, left arm lifts up, gaze follows. Exhale, thread it under the space. Left ear comes to the mat, shuffling that right hand maybe a little bit to the right. Inhale and exhale. Keep those eyes open. And exhale. One more breath. And exhale. On the next inhale, press yourself back to your tabletop and come to sit on your bum bum back to where we began, back in our cross legged seat, our sukhasana. You can continue with a practice. Or just take a seat and just enjoy this beautiful message from Paulo Coelho's Manual of the Warrior of Light. The warrior of light is now waking from his dream. He thinks, I do not know how to deal with this light that is making me grow. The light, however, does not disappear. The warrior thinks, changes must be made that I do not feel like making. The light remains because feel is a word full of traps. Then the eyes and the heart of the warrior begin to grow accustomed to the light. It no longer frightens him and he finally accepts his own legend, even if this means running risks. The warrior has been asleep for a long time. It is only natural that he should wake very gradually. Isn't that cool? So, you know, I think we've all been asleep, I certainly have, for, for a long, long time. This is a journey of change, a journey of transformation, ego transcendence. 
And there are surprises in any good journey. It's full of surprises. Just take it slow. Take it easy. Keep loving. Keep practicing. Keep, keep playing. You know, yoga is a, is a friend. It, it reminds me of the ocean. It reminds me of friendships and stories around a campfire and laughter shared. I implore you to, to spread the message of love, loving kindness, friendliness, Maitri, the theme for October, and to share some, some stories about kindness in the comments below. Have a beautiful week, everyone. Adios, wherever you, wherever you are. Thank you for, for joining today. Take care. Bye.